Well, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here today to show you my top 10 most favorite, most perfect kitchen gadgets that can help you be successful on Optavia. All right, guys, you asked for it. This is a great idea. I have 10 of my most favorite products that I use in order to stay on track. Uh, with Optavia. And in fact, you can pretty much use these with any meal plan. They're just really fun kitchen gadgets, but they seem to make my days go so much easier. I also have a couple of others that I'm not including in this video. So if you enjoy this kind of topic, let me know and I'll be happy to include those other gadgets. So, all right, let's get started with my first favorite. All right, so my first favorite, this is the utmost to me, the most important thing you need when um, on this program, and it is none other than a food scale. I have a Cuisinart one. Um, I You have to weigh out your lean and green. You just, you have to. Eyeballing it is great if you're out and about and you don't have a scale with you, but if you're home, and even if you're not home, this thing's portable. You can throw this in a bag. You can take this on vacation. Uh, it is just something you have to have. Without using a food scale and trying to stuff things into the uh, cups, no way. The cups were invented for liquids, not for solids. So if you're trying to stuff lettuce into a one cup measuring cup, you are so not getting the amount that you're supposed to have. And you'll be really surprised because a, a cup of lettuce is a lot when you weigh it out on the scale. I like this one. Again, it's by Cuisinart. This is detachable. So if you spill something on it, you just untwist it you can clean this yourself um, and it makes cleaning underneath really simple. They're not expensive. You don't even need this particular one. I prefer it. This I've gone through so many scales in my life here. And honestly, this one by far is the best one. Okay, so my, I guess I'll go in, I, I can't even go in order because clearly they're all my favorite. But another really good one is a waffle maker. Now, Everybody has the dash, right? I do. I have two of them. I have the griddle dash and I have the waffle maker dash. This waffle maker, though, because it's so large, it, it does something to your head. When you eat a fueling, like when I make waffles, and you've seen them in my past videos, they come out so big and fluffy like a Belgian waffle where the little dash one is great, but it's just so small. And having something larger actually does something to the mind where it makes you feel like you're eating more, even though it's the same. So I recommend getting this. It's under, I believe, $20. You could get these on Amazon. Uh, it is by Oster. This is what it looks like. It's great. It has a plug. No kidding, right? <laughs> so you can't, it's not like battery operated. You can't take this on the go, but you can, again, you can wrap this up, throw it in a travel bag and take it with you if you wanted to. So waffle maker is definitely something you should have. So are we onto the third thing already? I can't believe it. This thing I cannot live without. Absolutely cannot because I, let me just show you what it is before I even start jibber jabbering. That is so heavy. My Nutribullet cannot live without this either. This thing is, I mean, this is worth its weight in gold. If you don't have a Nutribullet, and I know they make different brands, they make Ninja, they make all kinds. Invest in one of these because you can make shakes in here. Like I used to have a regular blender and it never, excuse me one second, it never blended up as well as this does. I guess it's because of, I mean, clearly, look at these blades. You have to be very careful when you clean this, but these are super sharp. See that edge there? That is super sharp. So the Nutribullet is great also because when you make your shakes or whatever you're putting in here, you could just take this on the go. I brought this into my car with me with a straw outside, wherever. So Nutribullet, you get like a double thumbs up because again, I can't live without it. I ordered it on Amazon. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it on Amazon, Bed Bath & Beyond. I mean, they have these things everywhere. So make sure you get yourself one of these. Okay, so my next gadget, I love this. I got this on Amazon and this is awesome. This is by Dash. 
See it? This is my little egg cooker. It holds six eggs. Uh, no, seven eggs. Two, three, four, sorry, six eggs. <laughs> And it's so easy to use. You put your eggs in here, you put a little water at the bottom, you press the button and shebang. I always try to keep hard boiled eggs in my fridge and I'm gonna tell you why. When you have an active day, if you went on a hike, if you ran, if you took walks, if you went to the gym, whatever, the program allows you to increase your protein a little bit. By a little bit, that could be one to two ounces, what have you. I usually say to myself, one to two egg whites. Um, and there are days where I do have, you know, more hunger than others. And I feel that this little gadget is so handy. You don't have to worry about peeling an egg and having half the egg come apart with this shell. This makes a perfect egg every time, every time, every time. I've never had an egg come out of this little gadget that didn't peel like the most easy egg and there's no divots into the egg from, you know, you know, sometimes when you peel an egg and half of the egg is attached to the shell and you just want to throw it out. This has saved all of my eggs. So, and it's very cheap. It's so inexpensive, but, and it, it's small. See it in my hands and it literally fits in my cabinet. Um, and I mean, I just can't live without this thing. And whether you're not on program or you are, it's just a great little thing to have. All right, so we're on number five. We are cruising. And all right, so I'm gonna show you this. This actually came in a set of five, or I think. I got this on Amazon. Let me just like straighten this out because for some reason it's like worked, but this is what it is. It's a little whisk, a little whisk. See it next to my hand? It's small. The reason I love this thing is when you are mixing your fuelings, I used to use a fork and that you can so use a fork, you don't need this. But there's something about this whisk when you're making chocolate pudding. I don't know what it is. When you're mixing pancake batter, when you're mixing the brownie into a bowl and you wanna make a waffle out of it, this gets the clumps out. It just does. I it. it provides the feeling with some air, it makes it light and fluffy, just something that a fork cannot do. I got a whole bunch of these for like five bucks on Amazon. Just look up mini whisk, that's it. It's so easy and they're so inexpensive and they are so, so worth it. All right, so my another, my, another little thing that I love to use and I use them all the time and I got them on Amazon are these tiny little mixing bowls. These are perfect to mix your fuelings in here. I'm gonna put them down, but it did come in a set of, I think three or five. There may be two in the dishwasher. I don't, I can't remember. I've had them for a while, but they're glass. They're very inexpensive. This is the brand, Doen. They're little tiny mixing bowls. Again, instead of those ramekins that come with, you know, the brownie and the chocolate chip cookie and the biscuit, I prefer to mix it in here. I feel like I get a better mix and I use the whisk where those ramekins, because they're so shallow, um, a lot of the fueling tends to like fly out and I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. So these little mixing bowls, inexpensive, great to have uh, for that purpose. And you can also, if you wanted to, you can throw these in the microwave with the fueling and cook them. I don't, but I've tried it and it works. I just use them primarily for mixing things. Another product that you can find anywhere are these. These are little, little Ziploc containers. The ones that I have screw off the top here and I make my chocolate pudding in these. Um, and then I cover them and I stick them in the fridge. I also make the chocolate pudding in these bowls too, just so you know, and I don't cover it, just depends. But these are great. You can literally use these and in so many ways, but another really good way to use this is with the chili. The chili definitely, in my opinion, has to be soaked for a few hours before you cook it because those beans are hard as a rock until you, you know, rehydrate them. So if you put the chili powder, you know, the fueling powder in here, add your water and just put it in the fridge and let it sit for a couple of hours and then cook it later on, it comes out perfect every time. And I like the screw on top. I don't know why other than, you know, the kind that you snap on. I feel like these also are great in the work bag. I used to take these with me 
throw it in my work bag and I never worried about the top popping off and having a spilled fueling in my work bag. So definitely suggest you get yourself some of these. Okay, so we have two more items and I'm gonna save the best for last, but uh, well, actually we have three more things. I'm gonna save the best for last, but this I cannot live without. These, I mean, I buy these in my grocery store. You can buy these anywhere and I think Amazon has them. Milkshake straws, really? This is, a ne ah! <laughs> this is a necessity. You have to have straws for the shakes. And what I mean by milkshake straws, can you see how wide, you see how wide that circle is? If you make a, a protein shake in your Nutribullet and use one of these, you have no issue with anything. It comes right up. Sometimes those skinny little straws, if you have a little ice chip or something in there, they're very, this hair is annoying. They're very hard to um, suck into your mouth, but these milkshake straws make things so easy, so easy. I highly recommend you get yourself a bag of milkshake straws. They're so inexpensive. And like I said, you could probably find them online or your local grocery store, the Dollar Tree, like everybody has these. I, they're 50 in here. I buy like four bags at a time and I just keep them in my cabinet. So here we go. The last two items. I think I'm gonna show you the best for last, but I'm gonna show you something that I literally use every day. You've seen it before in my posts and in videos, I'm sure. You have to get yourself a cup. And I don't mean just any cup. I want you to find a fun cup, one that you love, one that's pretty, one that's like, it's your cup. Now this one has my name on it, the little the little triangle in the A, it was, there was one in the R, it came off, whatever. I bought this on Etsy. I've sent the link to a lot of you that have asked. But having a cup that you love, that's fun, that's portable, like this fits in the cup holder of the car, keeps you focused on your daily water intake. You, you guys have to get your water in. When you have a cup like this, you just drink water. I can't explain it. If I take a bottle of water, you know, from, you know, a case of water that you buy at like Costco or whatever, I don't know. It's not fun. It's not always cold. I always fill this thing with ice. This is what's left because it's been around for a little while now. But I just love drinking out of a fun cup and I think... I don't know, there's just something about a straw. What is it about the straw? But drinking water from a cup with a straw, a cute one, I mean, you can't not drink your water, right? So get yourself a cup. I don't have to tell you where to go. They sell cups everywhere. <laughs> just get yourself a cup, a fun one. I'm telling you, it makes a difference. Okay, so we are at the last item. This one, this is just, I love it. Hold on, I'm gonna have to reach for it because it's quite heavy and I get asked about this a lot. You guys always wanna know. So here it comes. Ta-da, my air fryer. And no shocker to you, look who it's made by, Dash. This is a mini air fryer. Do you see how small this is? I mean, look at it, here's the side. The profile is very nice. And narrow, there's the vent. And here's the basket, okay? So it's nice and small, it's nice and light, but it does the job. And it looks pretty too. This is so good. You guys actually have given me a lot of insight. Somebody wrote to me the other day that after I made that video with the waffle fries being put in the um, waffle maker, that they take them out and they actually put them in here for a couple minutes to get them extra crispy, which I love that idea and I'm totally gonna do that. Um, I have cooked fish in here, chicken in here, turkey meatballs, burgers, like you can literally use this. I mean, most of you know what an air fryer is, right? It's a way to cook food without oil and it comes up crispy, like you had just put it in a deep fryer. Um, it's phenomenal, I, I can't, recommend this enough and this one I bought on Amazon the reviews were like mixed some people loved it some people were like eh I love it I've never had an issue with it it's wonderful I use it every day literally if it's not me using it it's my daughter it's somebody's using this thing every single day it this basket can go in the dishwasher but we wash it by hand because I want the longevity of it 
to stay intact. But yeah, I mean, this is, look at this. It's got a dial on top, a dial on here for the amount of minutes. This is the temperature. You're just like turning it and setting a timer. Hear it ticking? I mean, that's it. And it goes like this when it's ready. And you know, I mean, like it's a no brainer. Dash, inexpensive, worth every cent. The mini though, the only downside to this is it's not large. So you can't put like six burgers in, a whole chicken, things like that. It's basically for like two people. And since I'm the only one on Optavia and it's like literally suits my needs, but um, this is wonderful. And they do make these in bigger sizes. So if you're into a larger air fryer, you'll be able to pick one up. And they come, I mean, so many brands make them now. It's not just Dash, but I like this one. So I guess that's it. I mean, that's my top 10 favorite gadgets for the kitchen on Optavia, right? I mean, how can you go wrong with all of these things? They will keep you in check. They will help your life. And nothing here is so over the top as far as cost. So I hope you guys check out some of these items. I'm actually going to try to link the Amazon finds for you and, you know, as best as I can in the um, description box so that if you want to check it out, you can. I am in no way an affiliate for any of these products, so I don't make a cent off of giving you the link. It's just me showing you where I got my products. And I guess that's about it. So I hope you like this video. If you wanna see the other things that I use um, on plan, let me know and I'll make a part two to this video. And I guess that's it. So I love you. Thank you all for sticking around. I'll see you soon. Mwah! Stay focused, guys.